Boo! It's another Halloween story. The title of this book is A Little Witch Magic. This book was written by Robert Bender and published by Henry Holt and Company. We have a very brave little girl here. I don't know if I would be as brave as she is. Let's find out what she does. Broom Helga had a reputation as the meanest witch in town. Everyone was afraid to walk down her street. Everyone that is, except for one little girl named Wanda. Secretly, she was curious. Some of the folks in town said they'd seen Broom Helga swooping down on her broom, chasing terrified dogs back into their dog houses and scaring the birds out of the trees. Others didn't believe it, but everyone agreed that when smoke billowed out of her chimney, Broom Helga was up to no good. Wanda couldn't understand what all the fuss was about. She thought it all seemed rather exciting. As for Broom Helga, she thought her life was quite routine. She'd have her usual lizard seaweed stew for breakfast, then feed all the spiders that had decorated her home with beautiful webs. She spent most days hunched over in her garden, pulling out thick gnarled roots, toadstools, and evil smelling weeds to use as ingredients in her magic potions. Boom Helga tested her potions and spells on the frogs in her backyard pond. She would have preferred to test them on real live human beings, but none had ever dared to stop by. Wanda wanted to, but even she was afraid to visit the witch alone. Poor Broom Helga. She thought it wasn't fair that no one ever came to visit her. After all, she wasn't trying to be mean. She was just doing what witches do. But with only frogs and her black cat for company, Broom Helga had become lonely and bored. Even her daily broomstick tours weren't fun anymore. Luckily, Halloween was coming soon. Broom Helga couldn't wait. She spent a whole week making naughty plans and mixing powerful potions. Halloween was her favorite night of the year. It was the children's favorite night too. They were all excited about their costumes, but Wanda was especially thrilled. She couldn't wait to wear the big pointy hat that topped off her witch's costume. Maybe this year, she could even convince her friends to go to Broom Helga's house. After supper, the children ran through the neighborhood yelling trick or treat and collecting lots of candy. Finally, they reached the deserted street where Broom Helga lived. I dare you to go to the witch's house, cried a little ghost. There's no such thing as a real witch, insisted a little mummy. Is there? Sure there is, said Wanda, but I'm not afraid. I'm a witch too. With that, she marched down the street, dragging her broom. The others followed hesitantly. Broom Helga peeked out the window. She couldn't believe her good luck. Lots of juicy children had delivered themselves right to her doorstep. She rubbed her hands together with glee. What spell shall I use on them? She wondered. Cautiously, the children climbed the rickety porch steps. What cool Halloween decorations, said Wanda. She banged on the door. The door creaked open. With a cackle, Broom Helga appeared in the doorway. The children were so stunned that they forgot to say trick or treat. Even Wanda couldn't believe what she saw. So this was what the witch looked like up close? 
Before she could even think twice, Wanda reached up to touch Broomhelga's warty nose. That was a mistake. Broom Helga let out a horrible shriek. All the children ran in terror, except Wanda. She was delighted. She'd met the witch at last. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Wanda asked. Broom Helga scratched her head. I don't know. I never thought about that before. I guess I'm a... Uh... But before she could finish her sentence, Wanda did what she had so often dreamed. She jumped on Broomhelga's broomstick. Take me for a ride, she begged. Pretty please? Broomhelga decided to oblige her. It might be thrilling to have a passenger screaming for mercy. With a bump, and a swoosh, they were off. As they raced past the moon, Broom Helga looked back at Wanda. She was astonished. The little witch wasn't afraid. In fact, Wanda seemed to be having the time of her life. I'll show her, Broom Helga muttered. The broom picked up speed. But no matter how fast or how far they went, Wanda only seemed to enjoy herself more and more. After a while, Broom Helga had to admit that even she was having fun. Maybe she'd save her naughty potions and plans for another Halloween. They tore past the Big Dipper, sped through the galaxy, and finally flew back toward the moon. Wanda yawned. It was past her bedtime. But she was having too much fun to go home just yet. Broom Helga, she shouted happily. I think you're a good witch, a very good witch indeed. Let's do this again soon. We'll see, grumbled Broom Helga. But secretly, she had a feeling this first ride wouldn't be their last. There they go speeding by. I don't think so. Do you think it's going to be their last ride? I think Broom Helga ended up making a friend. A little witch magic. Miss you, friends. Mwah.